dear friends in Christ, welcome to the 6th of February and Monday of the fifth week in the ordinary time. It is also the memorial of St. Paul Mickey and Companions, Martyrs. There is nothing impossible to one who has faith. Faith brings hope, and hope in God does not deceive. The fact that there is faith does not insulate anyone from problems in life. In fact, where there is faith, challenges increase because the devil puts that faith to the test onto his limits. A true child of God cannot be afraid of trials and temptations because he knows where to run at such a moment. St. Paul, Mickey, and companions were martyred at Nagasaki, Japan, in 1597. In that group were six Franciscans, 17 Franciscan tertiaries, and three Jesuits. They were martyred, suspended on the cross. That was their own way of bearing witness to the gospel. We pray for courage in our own moment of trials. Our first reading today is from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 to 19. And it is on the first four days of creation. It tells us that the world did not come by chance to be what it is now, but by the creative act of God. This creation was at God's command. Let there be. And so it happened. This first part of God's creation was more of a preparation for the animals that will inhabit the earth, including humans, who will manage creation. The author tells us that when God had finished each day of creation, God saw that it was good. We must continue to search our minds on the source of evil in the world, we must also question the violence we have brought upon nature, which was created good by God. The balance in nature has been destroyed by our quest for the exploitation of the world's resources, sometimes without consideration for the future and creation in its entirety. The result is global warming with its attendant problems. We can, however, do what is necessary now to reverse the situation so that we might preserve the Earth's balance for generations to come. The Gospel of today is taken from Mark chapter 6, verses 53 to 56, and reveals a very tight schedule of Jesus. Jesus and his disciples arrived at Genesaret tired. One would have expected that he will find a chance to rest, but those in need of him kept coming. Immediately they recognized him and ran about the whole neighborhood and began to bring sick people on their pallets to any place where they heard he was. One may attribute the ability of Jesus to attend to such people to the fact that he is God. But the truth is, that as God made man, he was like us in all things. He knew what it meant to be tired. On one such occasion, he fell asleep on the cushion in the boat while they were crossing the sea that he took the disciples to wake him up to calm the troubled sea. In spite of his tiredness, Jesus attended to the people. They were begging even just to be allowed to touch the fringe of his cloak. Their faith worked for them. God is ever present and ever faithful to his promises. Do not give up. A strong faith is expressed by these people who were searching for Jesus and begging to touch him. And it's needed in each and every one of us to truly become a place where God can dwell. We are the living tabernacles of his love live out that commitment daily. A word for today. 
Open your Bible to Mark chapter 6, verse 56. Mark chapter 6, verse 56. And it says, As many as touched it were made well. As many as touched it were made well. Let us pray. Lord, we come to you in faith to touch you in the Eucharist as our bread of life. Give us the grace to remain faithful to your word so that our hearts may remain a place where you can dwell eternally. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.